Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at this pen. This pen was not sent to me. This pen was sent to Aziza. Then I stole it and now I am reviewing it. This is the Laban Forest. Now, not too long, well actually, I'm saying not too long ago, but by the time this video goes up, it may have been a while ago. I reviewed a very similar pen by Laban called the Ocean, which is very similar, except what is green here is blue or turquoise there. I thought it would be interesting to review this pen too. I like La Bon pens, I always have. I think they make attractive pens and they make pretty affordable pens. It's a Taiwanese brand and I really like what they do. Again, nice pens, good writers. I haven't really had a lot of issues with La Bon pens and how they write. This pen, similar to the Ocean, beautiful resin, has a steel nib in fine, medium or broad, in this case medium, Simple steel nib, but uh, gold colored. Takes a cartridge converter and has a pretty reasonable price. At the time I'm v uh, filming this, uh, these go for about 112 US on the street. The actual MSRP is a little higher, about 140, but I have found them for as low as $112, which I don't think is terrible for a nice resin pretty pen. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. But I do that before. You see how ingrained this is. I will do the writing sample after I have shown you the past and then I'll tell you what I like about it and don't like about it. Okay, I'll stop talking now, stop wasting your time, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so here we go with the Laban Ocean. Let me put that side by side to a Lamy Safari, also known as the Safari. As you can see, there are two nicely sized pens. Now, I do not have the box for this pen because this was delivered to Aziza who was in Toronto at the time. I am in Red Deer, so I brought this with me, but I didn't bring the box. If you really want to see the box, check out my video on the Laban Ocean, and I'm sure that you will see a very similar box. Okay, so as I said, nice resin, nice steel nib, etc. Let's just cover the parts of the pen now and do a writing sample. On top is the Laban logo and the finial. I always like that with the laurel leaves, actually laurel crown, I suppose, and the L for Laban. Nice, has a bit of uh, texture to it too, which is kind of nice. I really like this resin, supposed to resemble ivory. Now, of course, we do not want to use ivory, but I think this is a very nice approximation. We have the gold rings there, or gold colored rings, and then a clip. The clip is pretty stiff, but it does work. And then we have a center band here, which says Laban on one side, and on the other side it says nothing, it just reflects the camera, which looks like it is on fire. Now we have another gold band and another gold band in that same ivory type material and then we have this very nice acrylic material, nice chatoyens and uh, a nice little end cap there with yet another gold ring. Pen opens by unscrewing, it's a pretty nice size I would say, if you really want to you can post it but not very deeply because of that metal ring, so you end up with a very large pen but you can post it. We have the threads here, we have a nice section that tapers down, flares out a little bit, and then we have the Laban steel nib 3952, the height of Mount Jade on, uh, in, and in Taiwan, and it says Laban and it says Germany. All of this is laser engraved and there is scroll work. Now I seem to remember the time, I remember the days of old. Uh, when I think Laban nibs had Laban actually engraved on it as opposed to laser engraved on it, which was kind of nice, but that's okay. Number six, nib, steel nib, very smooth. It's a Laban nib, they work well, and uh, they are just a bit rigid, but they, they do write very pleasantly. In this case, a medium nib. We have a nice plastic feed, simple, works well, and then the pen is fed through a cartridge or, in this case, a converter. Converter is supplied with the pen. Notice there is a little bit of metal on the inside of this barrel. You can see that for the threads, uh, which I kind of like because that means you have metal threads on metal threads. You don't have to worry about these metal threads destroying your acrylic threads and then at some point you have a pen that won't actually screw shut anymore. Also adds a tiny bit of weight. I, 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 it's a little hard for me to see if this entire barrel is lined, uh, but 
Yeah, it's, it's very hard to see because of the, the light, but in any case, there is a little bit of weight to it, which I find kind of pleasant. It's, it's not overly heavy, it's kind of pleasant. So, there you have it. I think we need to see how this pen writes. And that's what we're going to do next. Let me zoom out a bit for you. Sorry, there's some stuff in the way here. The Laban Forest nib is medium, ink is Waterman Green, whatever they call their green. Writing. Pretty smooth. Not glassy smooth. There's a little bit of feedback, but it's not a scratchy feedback, it's more like you are using a fountain pen feedback, which I always like. That was illegible, but very fast writing. I didn't really see any skips. Very nice, consistent ink flow. Wetness. I don't have the feeling this really is a gusher. No. But clearly flows well, so no issues there. Line variation. As always, very, very careful. These are pretty stiff nibs, so don't expect a whole lot of yield from this. And then for those of you who enjoy such a thing, there is reverse writing. It's fairly smooth, but you can see the nib runs dry pretty quickly, so don't expect to get, I think, more than maybe three words out of this if you do that. But not everybody does that anyway, so that should be okay. All right, let's see what I like about this pen, what I not like about this pen, and that's pretty much it, huh? Let's get to it. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Laban Forest? Well, Laban and me go back quite a way. Not necessarily me and, and any collaborations with the company, but I have used Laban pens for a long time. Um, years ago, I, I bought my first Laban, so I'll be fair, I have had good experiences with this company. And that's nice. Not only have there been good experiences, but they have been consistently good experiences. The Laban pens I have used almost invariably have worked very well. There was one pen at some point that I had that had a nib that I found a little finicky, but all the other ones, and there have been quite a few, have all written very well out of the box. And that is something I really appreciate, right? Not just that they write, but the consistency thereof. So I like that. The nibs are good. In this case, a very rigid nib, uh, as is actually always the case with Laban, in, in my experience, a very rigid nib, but a very pleasant nib to write with. The materials Laban uses are very nice. A lot of acrylics, nice resins. Here's the deal. I don't think you can, or you should, really look down on this. It's not celluloid, and pen love is always like, eh, it has to be celluloid. No, it doesn't have to be celluloid. A really good acrylic is fun too. And I think that in this case, for example, they hit the nail on the head. Beautiful, beautiful acrylic, just like with the ocean. And the combination of that, that ivory type material and this acrylic, in my mind, works very well. So I like that. I also like the size. The size is maybe a, a little bit bigger than, than the average pen. Here I have a, a, a Leonardo Momento Zero, which I think is a pretty standard size pen. So you can see that this, this Laban is a little bit bigger. But a number six nib, that's always fun. And I think this is usable for many people. The section is, is very nicely tapered, so I think a lot of people will be able to use this and post it well. It's kind of just madness that way. So I like that. I like the size. A little bigger, but very comfortable. Fits in pen pouches. You can easily carry this around, and I think it is comfortable for many people. I like all of that. Things I don't like so much. Well, people always complain about laser engraved nibs, and I kind of agree. I wish Laban would go back to the actually engraved nibs. I think it looks a little nicer, but that would never be a deal breaker for me. Uh, the posting is a little weird, but there's a solution. Don't post. Very simple. The final thing I would say is that there's a lot of gold rings on this pen, 
And to me, it could have been a little, little less, personally. I mean, two here, then there's the big gold band in the center, then there's two more rings, and that's a final ring there. I could do with a little less gold, personally. I don't know why, but for some reason, I think, yeah, this may be a little, little much. Very personal judgment, though. In my mind, though, here's the bottom line. It's a solid pen. It writes out of the box, it comes with a converter so you can immediately use it. It's a very pretty material, and in my mind, the price is right. 112 bucks street price? Sure, it's not a handmade pen, but very pretty acrylic, and it writes. And it writes well. So what more could you wish for? I think this is a very nice thing. So, I like it. La Bonne Forest. Nice combination with the Le bon Ocean. I'd like to see where they take that next. Hint, Le bon. Ocean. Fire. Ocean. Forest. Fire. Because if you could do this, but with this acrylic in a bright red, I'm game. Right here, right now, I'm telling you. This in a bright red, but with the same nice chatoyance and all that, I'm game. In a world of violence, we need fire. Anyway, guys, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.